I'm Robert York. I am the Senior Director of uh, Global Sales and Business Development. And uh, what products are you showcasing here tonight at the uh, Monster VIP party? Tonight we brought a lot of our uh, external solid state drives and our uh, drive solutions. What uh, sizes do they start at and where do they go to? Yeah, we start at, uh, on our drives, we start in the 256 area in our 3.0 solid state, 512, one terabyte. And in our Thunderbolt category, we start at 240, 480, one terabyte and two terabyte. Well, we support uh, USB 3.0, USB 2.0 backwards compatible with our what's called our Overdrive Mini, uh, which is the size of a uh, business card, all the way up to a terabyte. And then with our other drives, our Thunderbolt drives, we uh, support actually only Thunderbolt uh, connectivity. Uh, it's all bus powered, so it's not daisy chainable, but it's uh, all built into one unit. Can you speak a little bit about the uh, uh, iPhone device, the 128 gigabyte, and uh how you'll be able to use it with various apps or storage? Yes, our Overdrive Lightning, as we call it, will be coming to market late Q1, early Q2. Uh, it is a uh, 64, or 32, 64, and 128 gigabyte uh, drive that goes into the Lightning port. The other side of the port is uh, uh, it's OTG, so the other side is USB 3.0. Uh, so it will not only be the fastest drive in the category, but it's going to be the first drive in the category with no battery. So you don't have to charge it to do anything else. It's plug and play. And the technology that you use in these devices is proprietary, correct? I would tell you, but I have to kill you. No, we do some really interesting things. We've, we've actually, with our Thunderbolt technology, we've done some things other people haven't been able to do with both the... Uh, the thermal management, which is a big problem because Thunderbolt's a very, very hot running uh, uh, SSD. And then also on the other end of it is with the uh, power management because you're only able to pull 10 watts out of the, uh, the Thunderbolt port. And to be able to do that and still get 500 megabytes a second uh, uh, read-write is really uh, uh, quite a task, quite an engineering feat we're real proud of. Do you think that... Uh that there's going to be more consolidation in the tech industry. Do you think at this moment in time, it seems like we're kind of ripe for it? With such um, a huge amount of cash on balance sheets, a lot of smaller companies holding a lot of IP, don't you think we're at a moment where it seems like there's going to be a lot more consolidation like what happened with Beats or what happened with Oculus Rift last year? Well, I think it's interesting. We do something big companies don't necessarily do. They have a lot of, you know, some of our, our, our bigger companies in the spaces, Sandus, WDs, those type of guys, they don't have the agility a small company has like us, so they can't wake up one day and say, hey, we're going to build a PCIe Thunderbolt drive and it's going to look like this and within two months have it done. They don't, they don't work that way. We're able to do that. So I think from an acquisition standpoint, we have a, some incredibly interesting IP that we own um, that's very, very good and effective. And I think um, we're able to do things uh, right out of the box that our bigger, more bulkier companies are not able to accomplish. So. Who knows? It would be uh, it would be interesting. Uh, I wish I owned stock, but uh, you know, it's uh, um, yeah. I think you'll see some other stuff going on in the in the space for sure.